You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Deggs versus Guerin. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Deggs, you are here today hoping you are the biological father of the defendant's three-year-old son, Jason. You have petitioned the court for paternity test because you claim your ex, Ms. Guerin, first led you to believe that you were Jason's dad, but when the baby was six months old, she confessed that you may not be the biological father. You say Jason is the most important thing in your life, and you are praying the results today turn out in your favor. Yes, ma'am. Now, Ms. Guerin, you admit you slept with another man at the time your son was conceived, but you say that was only after the plaintiff strayed. You, too, are unsure about your son's paternity and are desperate for today's results. Now, Mr. Deggs, when did you first find out Ms. Guerin cheated on you? We were together about a year. Mm -hmm. At the time, we were moving out of my best friend's apartment. And uh, it was just about that I got the truck loaded up with everything. And I went upstairs to grab my last box. And my best friend at the time pulled me aside and told me him and my brother had both slept with Megan. What? I was hurt. They both. Your both. Honor, he they cheated in the very beginning of our relationship. It was even now, before we were a month together Ms. Guerin, when we first cheated. Boy, before you get to what he did, I want to know, is it true? Yes, it is true. I do admit that I did do those things. I did cheat on him with his best friend and his brother. Oh. I was very young at the time. Ms. Guerin, how did you end up with his best friend? Well, honestly, it just happened. I didn't do it out of spite towards him or anything. It's not because I'm a bad person. At the time, I was lacking affection from him. He was never home. He was always. I work, Your Honor. I work full time to okay, make sure that her nails and her hair come, get done. After he would get off to work, sure he never came home. Would you want and me? he left me in the apartment all the time with a roommate that he working. knew was full attracted time. to me and wanted to be with me. And so you did what? Your home and the best friend's home. Well, we were drinking, and he was showing interest in me, made me feel pretty, and was giving me everything at the time that Jason was not, was actually because being I was a at friend. Work. And in that one day no. at work, he gave you everything Mr. Deggs never gave you? No, I did not say that. Your Honor, I loved her. She was my childhood sweetheart. I loved this girl. If that was girl. the case, then he wouldn't have cheated and said that he was going to leave me for his ex-girlfriend when she That was... wasn't true. Yes, it is true. That it wasn't all true right, at so, all. All right, so, Ms. Guerin, did you regret it or you just felt like, I'm yes. so glad he thinks I'm cute. No, absolutely, I regretted it. I, it was awkward to know that I was keeping something from but my boyfriend. But you slept with my brother, too. Yes, You after. slept with my best friend and my oh. brother. So, if, if okay, twice the Ms. pain? Ms. Guerin, yes. please tell the Twice court. the pain. How did you end up with his brother, too? His brother, I was really young at the time. and You keep the talking best... about how young you were. If you were so young, you shouldn't have been sleeping with everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now... That's fair enough. How did you end up sleeping with his That's fair brother? Enough. It was an attraction. It was, he was paying me the attention that Jason was not. Because I was if at I work. Felt, I felt replaceable to what Jason. What did you want me to do? I felt replaceable to him. So, yes, I did look for affection and everything I want in a relationship in I somebody moved, else. I moved you in. in you paid else. nothing. You were taken care of. You worked you for did. the newspaper. You news moved paper. out of your mom's. Yeah. So you're like I did barely work for making the newspaper, it in an apartment. Still. But okay. I still okay. made sure All right, that let's you get some order. Cheated Mr. Briggs, what's your excuse? Let me understand this. She's so, after he slept with... <laughs> All right. You two okay, might not know brother. how to respect each other outside of the courtroom. But in this courtroom, we must remain respectful. Yes, Your Honor. Now, after you found out Ms. Guerin slept with your best friend and your brother, mm -hmm. surely He's still safe. you were... Done with her. No, no, Your Honor. I loved her that much that I wanted to work on it again. Wow. Because I loved her because that much. Because he knew he cheated from the gate. No, because I loved yes. you. Okay. I loved had you, you. Had you cheated? Not until after. That's when I strayed. When you slept with my best friend and my brother is when I strayed. I realize, Mr. Deggs, maybe you cheated as well. However, uh, that would not affect the paternity of the child we're talking about. Okay. So... I want to get to the point of when you realized you were pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, um, we had a lot of problems at that time. We had already cheated on each other. And then I met somebody else that was 
taking care of me and I ended up sleeping with him while I was with Jason. When you give birth to yes. the child, he was there. Yes, was he was there. there. I cut the cord. I've been there since day one taking care of this baby and this woman. <laughs> since day one, Your Honor, I was there. And then she has the nerve to wait. Mr. Diggs, you thought this child was yours. Something. Yes, Your Honor, I sure did. No doubts in your mind. You're going no on about your all. life. You ready and to with get my family baby. established? Make the family that I, I never had. No, you're telling me how much of a cheater I was, how, how bad I was, everything. You're just... Yeah, because I was still hurt. Okay. But I was okay. trying to... <laughs> okay! Do you understand why your he was honor, hurt, Ms. Garrett? He, I'm not the only one that cheated in this I had a rough I know, but I've had to deal with so many one, different women. But you're the one that's here with a paternity issue regarding yes. the child in question, and... You're the one that slept with his brother and his best friend. And you were the only one during the entire pregnancy that knew that there was doubt as to whether he was the, the father. So you, you got to understand at least why he could be a little hurt. Of course. I had a rough childhood. Of course. I wanted I to be daddy. I just want to say that I did decide not to tell Jason right away because I did want the family. I did believe that Jason was going to be a great dad. And I, that I was am something... a great dad. I'm a great dad right now. How important is this baby to you? You said you didn't have a great childhood. How important is the baby to you? The baby is the most important in my life. That I could, the most important thing in my life that I've, that's ever been important to me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. During the entire pregnancy and for six months after that, you allowed him to believe that he was the father of this child, knowing in your mind that maybe he wasn't. Yes. That's correct. That is correct. Mr. Dex, now take me to that day where... Unfortunately, you got that bomb dropped on you. I think we were in an argument, and out of nowhere she throws at me, you're probably not even Jason, the daddy of Jason anyway. No, I, I did crumbled not right there and started like crying. That. I would never what? do that. You told me after this long that I'm not the daddy and we're in an argument? What is it? Am I the dad or am I not? How are you going to break my heart like that? I love that little boy, and I know what it's like not having a dad there. So I wanted to be everything that I could be. You love your free time and, and all the women that you no, love. No, you to love go your hang free time and hanging out with this son. dude here because no. you left Jason for three months Why? with your because mom and me so that I could take care of him and you take care. Move, you guys move. Let's get some order. I just want to state that I have never ever left my son and abandoned him ever. So, Mr. Dex, you want to say that I have never ever left my son and abandoned him ever. So, Mr. Dex and Ms. Garen, we need to go forward in our conversation because I'm trying to understand The from reason you both. why I didn't tell him right away, Your Honor, is because I was truly at a, a horrible place in knowing what I did. But the reaction that I got from him, he was happy, and we wanted a family. We were together. I did stray away from the but relationship, now you got and I felt, can you please let me talk for a second? I let you play what I wanted to say. Let her talk. I don't need to play daddy. I actually I take did, care of him. I did yeah. feel like Sorry, we could God. build a family together, and then, yes, I did have to tell him because I was struggling within myself of the truth. Of it was, so it was you're not me a lot. just that cold and callous. Absolutely it was bugging not. you. Absolutely. And it so was more after to get it off she told test. you this, Mr. Deggs, mm -hmm. and she was just honest and laid it out there, mm -hmm. were you torn Did, or were you instantly yeah. just done with it? And I expected I was, as much. I was torn. I, if I'm the father, like leaving, it bothered me every out. day, you know. I had so many different yeah, things. Yeah, but you weren't man enough to do anything about it. I still stayed with her. I stayed you with her. You stayed with her again. I, again. Again, I stayed with her. Moved us into a house. Was working again. Okay, I want to hear from you, Ms. Marshall. Please stand up. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for joining us today. Now, please tell us what you have to add to this. Um, Your Honor, I've known Jason since we were 13 years old. He's been one of my best friends. And then, yes, we started dating. 
The minute we started dating, all the problems came. Megan would blow up his phone. She texted him and was like, you better keep your job, honey, because all I want is your money. I never, and she have was, ever, it was ever bad. said that. And she that. was like, you know, all I want is your money. All you I need made to do my is own money, work. honey. And you saw these texts. Megan did not like me from the gate. I never Why? Lied I don't about know. Her. Um, I don't know. I really don't. I never had a run-in with her. I never said nothing rude to her. I wasn't How nasty towards her. How can I not like her. somebody and I didn't know? Constant, constant, constant. So Jason and I ended up breaking up because I just couldn't. I couldn't do that to him. Because you cheated on him. And I couldn't do that to Jason. Why don't you tell the truth? So basically, you him too. you're here today Bother. because you feel as if Jason, Mr. Diggs, is a better parent than Ms. Garen. 100%. <laughs> oh, my God. 100%. Thank you. You may be seated. Ms. Garen. Yes. This is complicated because you have a new boyfriend and you say he's also stepped up to be Absolutely. a father. Absolutely, he stepped Please. up beyond my expectations of, okay. he's All done right, more than Jason over the last Mr. Felton, three years. please yeah, stand now so we can hear your testimony from the podium instead of the chair. Mr. Felton, please stand now so we can hear your testimony from the podium instead of the chair. Yes, Your Honor. All right, in your statement to the court, you actually said that you've been the father to this child, even though there's no chance you're the biological father, but you're saying that you are the man that stepped I, I do, up. I do things that a father is supposed to do. Right. I never try and take the place of his biological father because I'm not his biological father. And what is it that you do for the child? I take care of him. Um, you know, when Megan's working, if I have the day off, then of course I'm taking care of him. If he needs to go to an appointment or something, make sure he gets there. It's fun to be around. Of course, he's a three-year-old. He touches your patience sometimes, but I mean, I know all about that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your testimony. You may be seated. Yes, Yana. Thank you. Okay, what do you want from this, Ms. Garen? Do you want Mr. Dagg to be the father? For me right now, no. I don't, I do not want Jason to be the father because every weekend it's drama. It's another girl. Mr. Diggs, what do you want from today? I want to be in Jason's life. I love Jason. No, that's why With he's all called my heart us and soul. for the last. And if he is your son, are you willing to step up? Yes, of in course. every way. In every way. And if he's not? If he's not, then it's going to be re really hard for me. Jerome, I think it's time for the results. Here you go, Yona. Mhm. Mm so ready. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Deggs versus Garen, when it comes to baby Jason Deggs, Mr. Deggs, you are not the father. And that's for the best. Honestly, it's for the best because he has only stayed this long so that he could get whatever benefit he's getting out of it. Benefit? But honestly, what Your benefit Honor, am I wait, 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 wait. Taking no. care of a three-year-old child. I am disgusted that you would perpetrate this lie on this man during your entire pregnancy up through a delivery room, let him cut the cord on a baby. I know you know good and well that wasn't his child. I can tell by the look on your face today. He was more nervous than you were. Sometimes I have to get up here as a judge and give what I think, but right now, I'm gonna tell you what I think as a woman. Now, you sitting up there and you got a cute face, but you got ugly ways. <laughs> that was wrong. And I feel like you have not wholeheartedly acknowledged to this man that you purposefully deceived him and allowed him to get attached to a baby that you can see your own new boyfriend, Mr. Felton, loves. But you let him invest his heart and soul and his money and his time, and then you sit up in front of this court and in front of me as a woman and suggest, oh, you just did that to get what you wanted to get out of it. What he does did. he want to get out? Of it. With still trying to be involved with me and also being... Oh, yes. I should have known! That's a huge part of it. It's a huge part of it. I should have known it was gonna be about you. It's not about me. It's now, about me. now, 
you're standing here, and the only one emotional on the brink of tears is him. Because I'm excited, Your Honor. I'm excited I don't have to deal with all the drama that comes with it. And I am. I don't, Look, I do not get anything from this man except for again, a problem. Who is it about? It's about my son, and Who that's is why it about? I'm here. No, no, no. You just said you're excited because you don't have to deal because with the I drama. Get to move on. I haven't heard you say once to move on. that I, I, you know, my son didn't know him as a father. I've got to figure out how to make this transition. You haven't Honor, said one have. mothering thing your up Honor. here since you got the result, and that's not good enough, <laughs> Mr. Diggs. You know, I, I've paved my whole way, my whole life around this child, and now to know that I'm not his father. It kills me inside. It now kills me inside. Now you can move inside. to California and do all the things that you said you wanted to do. When a man is expressing his pain, and I'm just trying to have one more, a pain you cause. Gavel uh -huh. all over the place. I'm talking about a pain you purposefully cause. He's just trying to tell me how he felt. But no, it's got to be about you again. Look, baby, you gonna have to learn something. This world now, you a mother. It's mm -hmm. not about you. Whether you want to admit it exactly. or not, your child has a love and attachment for this man, because yes. you made it so. No. Let me tell you something. He could have left and, after and six months. And let me tell no. you something. And then my something. son wouldn't have known him this long. Listen, you know what? You know what? It is rare that I have to do this, but I can't even look at you no more. Jerome, escort her out. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm done with that. <laughs> Mr. Dick. This bench. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. That's what, how am I supposed to say goodbye to him now? I know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to say goodbye to him. That's all I've ever known to be my child. What am I going to do now? I live for him. I've been living for listen, him. Listen, listen, come here, come here. Everything you've done thus far has been the right thing. That's all I've been trying to do is the right thing for him. If it, you feel like it's healthier for you to walk away. It's not healthier. I want to be there for him. Well, I want to make sure he you... has everything right because she's showing right for him. And then you can do that. You have to just learn how, and I know it will be difficult. And you know, even though you're not his biological father, you are still an amazing presence in his life. A father figure. His daddy and you just have to work through the situation. I know you love him enough. I do. I, I, I will. can tell. Thank if you have you. a question, you call me. Okay? Thank you. All right. you did the right thing. 